What, what do I get? I think Whatever you like. <laughs> How about that? I'm Matt Cardis, the founder of Golf in Your State. Over the past four years, I've driven over 120,000 miles documenting the modern day culture of golf in America. I'll be taking the US Open trophy on its greatest adventure yet and getting it in the hands of passionate golfers all over this country. I'll be showing you my experience and thanks to Lexus, what you can expect as part of the US Open trophy tour sweepstakes. Well, Oakmont has hosted nine U.S. Opens, the most of any other course. So like Winged Foot, if you love U.S. Open history, this is your spot. And you can probably find history from any of the top players. I mean, this is just one of those tests that stands the test of time. Um, when it was built in 1903 and opened in 1904, it was already one of the golf courses that had sort of adjusted itself to the new golf ball that was coming out. So it was created longer and sort of more challenging for everyday play right from the get-go. So this has been um, a test that has really challenged the game's best players for over a hundred years. said is that the flagpole he said that was center of the green though we should be on the green <laughs> the little thing about oakmont the water fountains are actually cooled by ice they got these uh, cooling elements they put ice in it each day it's really cool Thank you, too. Yeah, of course. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, the Jack Nicholas arnold Palmer rivalry came to define an entire generation of professional golf. I mean, a whole era. Once you had sort of the end of Ben Hogan and his sort of last stand at some of these 1960s U.S. Opens, it really becomes a Jack Nicholas arnold Palmer showdown at almost every major championship. Oakland is kind of where that all begins. One of the most dramatic places to host a championship, really long historic golf course. So this is a perfect test for two of the game's best players. You guys have to have a lot of pride in this. I mean, it, it's, yeah. this is something really special. And to be able to sit here and actually see it and like know what transpired after the fact, it's, it's really cool. All right, we're here at the Western Pennsylvania Sports Museum. I got Jennifer Hawkins, Executive Director to Sports Pittsburgh. There's definitely been quite a few iconic moments in U.S. Open Championship history that have taken place at Oakmont. Can you tell me a little bit about the Jack and Arnold rivalry? And, you know, it started right here in Pittsburgh. You know, Arnie is a favored son of our community, and so we brag about him anywhere we can. And that rivalry is what keeps that keeps Pittsburgh in the conversation at all times. I love how the museum here encapsulated the moment, right? It gives the opportunity for, you know, visitors and, and locals alike that come here to visit the museum to get to experience this rivalry. And, and you know, I learned a lot coming here. Uh, you know, I appreciate you having us and I look forward to coming back. Oh, it's my pleasure and I know the community of Pittsburgh is very excited to celebrate the amateur next year and then the U.S. Open Championship for the 10th time in 2025. Oakmont is a special place. Every golfer knows that. Being able to spend time there, experiencing it firsthand, getting to know the people behind it, and learning more about its championship history is something I will never forget. Thank you, Pittsburgh. Hey. 
together. Uh, when, uh, you don't like this, right? Yes, sir. However you like it. The place is special as it is. And I just want to come in and say from the golf community, we definitely appreciate you guys putting in all the work that you do. You guys have it dialed. I just like seeing you guys scroll through your photos.